the end of Legend of Korra, Asami and Korra walked into the spirit world together. But how did their relationship evolve up to that point? And where did it go after the show ended? Here's the full journey of Korra and Asami's relationship. Let's take control of this ship. When they first met, Korra and Asami didn't exactly get off on the right foot. This is my daughter, Asami. It's lovely to meet you. Mako told me so much about you. Really? Because he hasn't mentioned you at all. It didn't help that Korra was interested in Mako, who was dating Asami. So I was thinking we should spend some time together. We've been spending lots of time together. I mean outside of the gym, and... I don't know. Asami and I are... Look, I really like you, and I think we were meant for each other. Cora, I'm really sorry, but I just don't feel the same way about you. Forget I ever said anything. Congratulations, guys. You were so amazing out there. Mwah. While Asami was pretty open with Cora from the beginning, I was hoping you'd stop by. I was just leaving. I'd love to have you come visit the estate. I don't know. I have some avatar stuff to do. Korra took a little while to warm up to Asami. So, what do you have planned for us today? Let me guess. Shopping, makeovers. I have something a little more exciting in mind. Ever been behind the wheel? The only thing I know how to drive is a polar bear dog. You want me to take you for a spin? Let's do it. I didn't think we'd make it. Well, you can't be afraid to mix it up sometimes. I gotta admit, I had you pegged wrong. I thought you were kind of prissy. Uh, no offense. <laughs> it's all right. People usually assume that I'm daddy's helpless little girl, but I can handle myself. I mean, I've been in self-defense classes since I was this high. My dad made sure I would always be able to protect myself. Smart guy. When Asami's father turns out to be working for Aman and the Equalists. Join me, Asami. Asami makes the incredibly difficult decision to turn against her father and join Korra, becoming a part of Team Avatar. No. I love you, Dad. <laughs> Things get complicated between Korra, Mako, and Asami. Asami, did you know Korra likes Mako? <laughs> Oh, uh, no, I wasn't completely aware of that. You do like me? Yes, but I like Asami too. I don't know, things are complicated. I've been feeling really confused. I've noticed how you treat Cora, how you acted when she was missing. You have feelings for her, don't you? What? No. I like Cora. But you've been keeping the truth from me this whole time. The truth? About what? You're really gonna make me say it? Yes, because I don't know what you're talking about. The kiss, Mako. I know. I... Well, I... Look, things are crazy right now. Can we deal with our relationship problems later? Well, there might not be any relationship to worry about later. Asami! Asami still supports Korra wholeheartedly. How am I supposed to save the city when I can't even learn airbending? I'm the worst avatar ever. I just feel alone. No, that's nonsense. You are amazing. Meanwhile, Korra and Mako begin a relationship. I love you too. but their jobs and their different goals get in the way. I think we both know that this, us, doesn't work. You're right. It's over, for real this time. After harmonic convergence, Korra and Asami grow even closer. This is a disaster. Don't worry, we'll figure something out. Easy for you to say. You don't have my poll numbers. 
8% approval? Who are they asking? You can't take that to heart. People are just frustrated. I don't blame them. I should be able to fix this. I'm the Avatar. And their past relationships with Mako don't seem to be much of an issue for them. How long do you think talking to Mako is going to be like pulling teeth? Well, Mako has never been the most in touch with his feelings guy. But it'll get better eventually. So, when I was gone, did he tell you that we broke up? Yeah, we all knew. Sorry. That's pretty embarrassing. Actually, I need to tell you something about that, and I should have told you this sooner, but... While you were gone, I kind of kissed him. I'm sorry. <laughs> no wonder he's so nervous around us. You're not mad? No. I mean, I kissed Mako when he was going out with you, so... You what? I'm so sorry. I thought you knew! I'm just kidding. I knew a long time ago. <laughs> well, whatever happened with Mako, I'm glad it hasn't come between us. I've never had a girlfriend to hang out with and talk to before. Except for Naga. This is nice. Asami and Korra work really well together, whether they're training or fending off an ambush. <laughs> or on an escape mission. Now that's just shoddy workmanship. There's no way I can get these locks off. I need the keys. Give me five minutes, then start yelling for help. Get in here! Something happened to my friend! She needs help! Where is she? When Korra decides to save the New Air Nomads by surrendering to Zaheer, Asami has her back. I've given it a lot of thought. I have to do this. You can't expect us to sit by and just let Zaheer take you. The world has been out of balance for far too long. It needs the Air Nation back again. I can't let Zaheer destroy it and everyone we love. Be careful, Korra. You too. After Zaheer poisons Korra, Asami is the one who's by her side helping her recover and supporting her during Korra's darkest time. There you go. All fixed up for a formal Avatar appearance. Take a look. It's great. Thanks. You know, nobody expects you to bounce back right away. It's only been two weeks. You need time to heal. I want you to know that I'm here for you. If you ever want to talk, or anything. But let's just try to enjoy this today. For Janora. You're right. Okay, let's go. Korra leaves Republic City and Asami. She distances herself from her life there to try and recover from the poison. I'm gonna write you so many letters, and just to get the ball rolling, here. Spoiler alert, Pabu and I already miss you. Thanks. That's sweet. Are you sure you don't want some company in the Southern Water Tribe? I'm happy to come with you. No, I appreciate it, but I'll only be gone a couple of weeks. A little time alone will be good for me. But in her self-imposed exile, Asami is the only one on Team Avatar Korra writes to. Dear Korra, I miss you. It's not the same in Republic City without you. How are you feeling? Things are going well here. I just got a big contract to help redesign the city's infrastructure. So I'll be keeping pretty busy for a while. Dear Asami, I'm sorry I haven't written to you sooner, but every time I've tried, I never knew what to say. The past two years have been the hardest of my life. I still can't go into the Avatar state. I keep having visions of Zaheer and what happened that day. Katara thinks a lot of this is in my head, so I've been meditating a lot. But sometimes I worry I'll never fully recover. Please don't tell Mako and Bolin I wrote to you and not them. I don't want to hurt their feelings, but it's easier to tell you about this stuff. I don't think they'd understand. 
Once they're reunited three years later, they're even closer. It's so good to see you again. You too. And I'm loving the hair. Thanks. You're looking snazzy as always. Cora can open up to Asami about her doubts. I thought you might be cold out here. You're so sweet. Thanks. Are you okay? You seem out of sorts. Sorry. I've just been thinking about something Toph said. She told me that the world doesn't need me, and it's basically pointless to try to stop Kovira. That's ridiculous. By the time, I thought so too. I figured she was just being her normal, cranky self. But I'm beginning to think she had a point. No, she doesn't. The world does need you. You're the Avatar. Once Republic City is safe, Asami and Korra decide to spend some time together. Just the two of them. Wanna sit with me for a minute? I'm not ready to get back to the party just yet. I don't think I ever really apologized. For what? For being gone all that time. For not coming back sooner. You don't need to apologize for anything. I'm just so happy you're here now. I don't think I could have handled losing you and my father in the same day. I am so sorry about what happened. Thank you. I'm just glad I was able to forgive him. So, what now? Back to the dance floor? I'm kind of all danced out. Honestly, after everything that's happened the past few months, I could use a vacation. Let's do it. Let's go on a vacation, just the two of us. Anywhere you want. Really? Okay. I've always wanted to see what the spirit world's like. Sounds perfect. Picking up where the show leaves off, the comic shows their spirit world vacation and their first kiss. They open up about their feelings for each other and how they developed. Back in Republic City, they tell their friends about their relationship. Korra wants to protect Asami from threats in Republic City, but Asami tells Korra she doesn't want her to be on guard as the Avatar when they're together. They smooth things out and it's time for date night. Except it seems like Asami stood Korra up. That can't be the case, so Korra assembles the rest of Team Avatar to rescue Asami. Korra and Asami take care of Takuga and save the spirit portal in the process. Later, in Ruins of the Empire, Kuvira tries to drive a wedge between Korra and Asami by pointing out just how much Asami sets aside to help Korra. But there's no way Kuvira is coming between them. When Korra and Asami have to split up, Commander Guan kidnaps the rest of Team Avatar and brainwashes Asami, Mako, and Bolin into hating Korra for his own political ends. And even though Korra gets Asami away from Guan, she still thinks Korra is the enemy. It's heartbreaking for Korra, who's willing to do anything to save Asami. Kuvira and Batar Jr. are able to bring Asami back. So Korra and Asami's relationship is stronger than ever. It's like Asami said, as long as they're together, they can do anything. <laughs>